Time for the video. Time for the video. E, we're gonna get into it today. We're gonna be talking about body image and insecurities. You're not gonna want to miss it. My name is Isaac, and this is Daily Disciple Ministry, where we help you become an authentic, inspired, and passionate disciple of Christ. Glad you joined us today, and we're gonna be talking about yeah, body image and insecurity. So it's going to be a tough conversation, but this is a topic that I think is important for all of us. Um, we've all had experiences with, you know, just our feelings around our own body and just like how we perceive it. Whether you're a guy or a girl, I think we can all relate to that. Um, sometimes this is seen as just a girl's issue, um, but it's not, it's not. And that's what I try to highlight here. A lot of these issues that we kind of gender segregate actually it really does cross genders so i think it's important whether you're a guy or a girl let's have this conversation about body image and kind of their insecurities and what god thinks of our body and and let's uh let's have a conversation i think it's really easy to get in our own heads about this um growing up my weight fluctuated quite a bit um when i was like 14 years old i was pretty pretty big and then I kind of went down when I was like 16 I lost a bunch of weight and now when I, then I went back to university gained the freshman 15 or 20 and I think during all those different times I can remember definitely when I was like 14 just looking in the mirror and not being happy about way the way I looked I can remember back in basketball practice uh, my coach would often film a shooting um, so then we could look at the look at the video and see our form and see what we need to fix about our shot And I remember looking at the footage and say What is that me? Am I that big? Like and not feeling good about that like feeling kind of embarrassed picking clothes that would kind of Wouldn't be necessarily too tight and make sure I wouldn't wouldn't look too big It was a it was a really self-conscious thing after that and I had a lot of insecurities about that during that time um, it's really easy to get in our heads about this and just kind of tell ourselves things about our bodies or really internalize our own opinions about what we look like or what we think we look like. But as Christians, I think it's important that we go to God. What does God say about us? Because we say a lot of things about, we have a lot of opinions. But at the end of the day, what's most important? It's what God says. So that's where we kind of continue our conversation is what does God say about our bodies? And I'm going to go to a very famous and popular verse that you're going to have heard before, but I think it's important that we kind of reorient our minds onto what God says about us. We're going to go to Psalm 139 um, verse 14. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Okay, a quick verse, but it has immense power and should hold immense um, influence in our lives. God's saying, look, what I created is good. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God doesn't create trash. He doesn't create junk. He didn't give our bodies to us just so we could dislike the way we look and hate our bodies. He says, look, what I've created is good. Yes, we can't negate the impact of the fall. Our bodies do decay and we die, right? And there's problems that we have. But nevertheless, what God created was wonderfully made. Our bodies are wonderfully made. We are wonderfully made. And I think that's what we need to be keeping in perspective when we're having thoughts like, oh man, I don't, I'm not, I'm kind of ugly or... I feel like I'm fat or man nobody could like me or I hate my body those kind of thoughts those kind of feelings um, I think we need to speak back at those things with truth and the truth is that we are wonderfully made but the question for us today do we believe him do we believe God when he says we're wonderfully made? Because I think a lot of the times we have a hard time believing him. It's easier to just kind of stay in our own minds about what we think about our bodies. And maybe we've been hurt in certain areas or been told things that have really impacted our view of our bodies. Because we have such a hard time believing God about what he says about us in this area, 
um, we often turn to our own opinion and in turn have kind of a distorted perspective of ourselves, of our bodies. Um, this is, I think, at the core of body image and this this idea of insecurities is is we see things about ourselves that are actually distorted. We don't have a properly oriented perspective about reality. Instead, we kind of dwell in our own minds and our own perceived opinion um, as opposed to turning to God. And when we do this, there's actually some bad consequences to it. And in part two of body image and insecurities, we're going to be talking about what happens when we let those distortions and disoriented perspectives of our body, what happens when we really take those on. And there's some there's some not great things that happen in our own minds and hearts. And in the next video, we're also going to learn how to speak back to this kind of self-condemnation and also this um, self-hatred. So it's going to be a big episode. Be sure to check that out on Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on Thursday.